In this video, we're going to talk about redox for single replacement reactions. Now, redox is short for reduction and oxidation, um, which is basically what occurs when you have electrons transferred from one species to another. The species that loses electrons is considered to be oxidized, while the species that gains electrons is going to be considered to be reduced. Hence the phrase, Leo the lion goes grr. So in this reaction, we have sodium displacing magnesium in the compound magnesium chloride. And you can see here that sodium, as a neutral element, would have no charge in its reactant state, and uh, magnesium would have a positive two charge as an ion in the compound magnesium chloride. As those reactants convert to products, you can see that sodium chloride forms, and in its ionic state, sodium has a charge of positive one, chloride negative one, as it also had in its reactant state, and magnesium now has zero charge in its elemental state. So you can see here that sodium's charge became more positive while magnesium's charge went from being positive to being neutral. So magnesium is considered to be reduced there in that it gains electrons, going from being positive to neutral required the addition of two electrons. And we can see that in our redox half reaction. In the oxidation half reaction, you can see that sodium goes from having no charge to having a charge of positive one. So in that case, sodium had to lose an electron, so we indicate that with an electron being generated as part of the product. Now you can see here in the redox half reaction, magnesium needed to gain two electrons, while in the oxidation half reaction, sodium only had to lose one. So what we have to do now is balance that so that the number of electrons gained by the magnesium is equal to the number of electrons lost by sodium. And when we do that, we can see that we would have two electrons both, and we add up the reactions, we would see that we have two electrons in both the reactant side and the product side. And so when we write our net ionic equations, we cancel out anything that appears on both sides of the reaction, and therefore you can see that um, you would end up with the net ionic equation of Mg plus two plus two sodium produces one magnesium and two sodium ions. And that is how you would write a net ionic equation for a redox reaction specific to single replacement reactions.